Hey there, fellow mercenaries, Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to RimWorld Hunter's Gambit, Episode 6, Poised for a Hunt. Yeah, Bunny came pretty close to uh, becoming crippled. That's not good. And there's the last of the assault rifles. That's going to go to Hot Thing once he's up. Jawsmo is just half a day away from getting to the closest trade point. And Marble keeps landing all around me. Hill on lacrosse, thanks for resub. <laughs> you want me to build a swing pool? Yeah, uh, I'd like that, but it's also not exactly possible. Sounds real nice, though. Sounds like excuses. <laughs> I'll I'll do it in um. Honestly, I can't even think of a game I'm playing right now that allows for that. So yeah, no, I can't I can't build a swimming pool unless you want me to start playing The Sims. Where are you going? Ah, components. Another beast hunt. Or Kikimora. Nice. Little buggers. The closest we'll have the infestations. I'm really going very slow. I think a lot of early game terrible luck um, slowed everything down. Like failing every single opportunity to recruit early on. So there are um, bull, cow. No, no horses right now. I'm going to um, sell Lisa. Sorry, Lisa. And then try to get as much silver as I can. Knowing that, yeah, like, I don't have the carry weight for all the silver. So we'll have to buy some gold. I'm going to buy gold for the multi-analyzer. So that's going to be helpful, I think. Um, yeah. And then we're also going to need some plastil for the multi-analyzer, too. I, I don't have the gold, the plasteel. So um, we need 20 gold, 50 plasteel. But I'm probably not going to be able to afford all the plasteel. Because... Of the weight here. So we'll just go for gold and... Something else is... Oh, literal meds. To get Guero on his feet. With maybe... Something else expensive. Uh, advanced components? I need something else that weighs a lot. Well, don't have enough for jump packs. Uh, and Sandy Lance? There. Good trade. So we have an Insanity Lance, gold for the multi analyzer, advanced components for fabrication. Um, actually, go back to trade. I could ditch some pack of survival meals for either the silver or something else. Like... Plasteel. There we go. So now I have everything that I need for the multi-analyzer as far as I'm aware. That's really good. Alright, what next project? So I know currently one of my projects is to go on a hunt. And I'm going to wait until everyone's recovered because I'm not going to go half-cocked. So I'm going to wait until Josmo's home and Bunny and Glitch have recovered. But, um... While I wait on that, uh, we can either do build a crafting room. Build a hospital research room. Um, set up barricades. Set up a kill box. Now, a kill box would be for guns, not turrets, of course. Raid a near... Buy settlement. Build a prison. Or 
uh, work on arms and armor. So what do you guys feel? What's most important? I'll leave that up to you. So in terms of the closest hunt, I don't know if I can get there in four days. I probably can't. Uh, once once I'm ready to rally for a hunt, I'll figure out which one's closest, because they're all pretty far away. And go to the closest that I think I'll be able to do. I don't want to die in the process, you know? Another pod crash. Uh, another travel? With that haircut, I'm guessing yes. No, you're a medical assistant. A jogger? Night owl? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Okay, well, um... That's another giveaway right there. I think that we're going to keep her no matter what. So here's the raffle timer. Uh, voting in this poll puts you eligible. And then Blake here needs to convert. But, uh... And is paralyzed. But, you know, that's, that's cool. Can't wait for that incapable firefight to become relevant. Yep. That might... Bite us in the bum. And then um, there's the question of who do we unparalyze first? Guero or Blake? Because, um, well, I can only do one of them with the uh, Glitter World meds that Josmo is bringing in. Perhaps I buy more Glitter World meds uh, with a new trade run, another trade run in the future, but uh, at the moment, can't do that. So one thing I could do is make dusters forever out of whatever... Uh, materials that I have available to me for for um, sale. And hey, Rao, what cheese? How is I'm assuming you were playing Project Zomboid today. How is uh, how is your Zomboid? Tell me about it, and I'll tell your readers what I'm working on. Uh, so this is I'm just streaming just today. It's a marathon stream. I'm streaming potentially for another I guess eight hours. It is. We're a mercenary company, a ragtag, very poor mercenary company, stuck on a little dinosaur world hunting monsters they're putting up contracts for us to hunt monsters so we have some monster hunts out here um i'm on a jungle map tile surrounded by very dangerous very scary dinosaurs actually there are not a lot of scary dinosaurs right now but it's a thickly settled jungle and um yeah that's what's going on we're currently voting on what i'm working on next so just for your chatters for your raiders type one through seven pick your favorite and I'm also, the project at the top is to try to buy horses, I guess that's not true anymore, is to suggest or vote on projects and go on a hunt. The ultimate goal of this scenario is to try to fulfill as many contracts as we can. And I've been doing a horrible job of that so far, because I've been getting the world's worst luck. But maybe my luck will turn. So the next... Ritual that we'll be able to do is a, another signal fire, another signal flag to try to bring in another recruit. And then after you finish voting on this, I'm going to have you vote on um, who we unparalyze. Blake, the jogging night owl who's good at fighting, medical, and social. Or Guero, the greedy, fast learner, intellectual, plant, and art. I, I don't have a dog in this fight. I'm happy for you to do either. Oh, yes, and of course, there's my mascot here, Yoda. He's a real boy. Powered by almonds and AAA batteries. Looks like Hospital Research Room is going to win. I'm not going to call it yet, though. But uh, that looks like a popular choice. Well, we really use up a lot of rice. I should actually switch over from rice to, like, corn. Because uh, corn is less manual labor than rice. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to make the switch now. But I have plenty of food stocked up. So 
So Bunny is almost fully healed. Glitch is fully healed, of course, Jasmo's healed. So we're we're getting close to being able to do the monster hunt as well. You started uh, playing some Rimworld yourself, so you figured you'd come on over. How are you finding it? I am um I'm a crazy high level veteran of Rimworld, having logged thousands of hours. So it's a very tricky one to be proficient at. I can tell you that much. I know that much. It's one of those games where it's very easy to get your butt kicked. Build a hospital, go on a hunt. It's currently what we're working on. So where should the hospital go? I could put the hospital here, but that leaves building the crafting room in a really crummy spot. So maybe put the hospital... Ah, oh, but there's marsh here. Hmm. I think I'm going to do this. So another thing, actually, before I do that, another thing with the hospital is, um, it shouldn't be too far from where we fight. Because if it's too far from where we fight, then we can actually, we can't physically go into the hospital when we're injured. So maybe I'll just nest the hospital in this nook here, like this. That's, that's fine. And I'll move, um... Something like that. Yeah, that'll work. It won't share air conditioning with everything else, but that's fine. And the giveaway. In lacrosse, you are now Blake. And then we have to ask the question. And you want to just go by lacrosse? What do you usually go by? Well, whatever, you, you'll you tell me. Then we have to decide who do we unparalyze? Elin or Guero? I can only do one, so you have to pick one. I know, it's a tough choice. Again, a jogging night owl, shooting melee, medical social, can't firefight, or fast learner, greedy, melee, plants, art, intellectual. Um, no health conditions other than the fact that they're paralyzed. No other pre-existing health conditions, I should say. Transport pod's done. If I'm doing a hospital, I'm actually going to make some choices here. I'm going to do sterile materials and then hospital bed. Because, you know, you voted for a hospital, so I'm going to make you a hospital. So, initially, I think what I'll do is I'll put wood there, but uh, I'll eventually graduate from wood to, to sterile materials. And then I'll put the research in there uh, once I have the steel. So, Elon, what do you want your name to be? Lacrosse? Got it. The other issue is these guys haven't converted yet, so that's another thing to do is to get them converted. It's going to be a lot easier to do with conversion virtuals once they're, like, mobile. But we've been trying to convert both, and I think it's because we don't have a high warden. Uh, we also have a wyvern hunt. That's not so far from the base. Wyverns are freaking scary, but that's not so far from the base. So that could be doable. And then this hospital's probably going to want a cooler. I'll put the cooler where the, uh, the last spot was open. Gonna want uh, light inside because a dark hospital, you'll end up like butchered. All right, and almost done polls. The poll is pretty close, so if you haven't voted yet, vote because uh, coming down to the wire now. 
And now Hot Bing's the only one hurt from the last fight. Almost fully recovered. Roko people preparing a while. Oh, there's a kind of a lot of them. Oh boy. Hey, Josmo, can you get home? Like, right now, now, now? These raids are getting bigger and bigger and bigger and scarier and scarier and scarier. And I don't have any turrets. Josmo's home. He's really far away, but he's he's hustling. Um Yeah. I think what I'll do. Is set up some barricades there on that door. I think that's going to be where we fight this next fight. Alright, we're unparalyzing Elin once Josmo gets in. Oh, we're letting these uh, dinos rot. Alright. The Incendiary Lance I might actually use considering the size of this raid. So Elin, or Lacrosse, I should call you. I think... I think what I'll do here is... um. is allow for Elin to, or Lacrosse, to fight with for us. Um, despite the fact that she hasn't converted yet, because I'm going to need fighters in a minute. So you're sedated, but you're going to be able to move around. All right, let me prop this door open and get fighting. I think what I'll do is go now before they're pounding on my doors and use the Insanity Lance. I was hoping to save the Insanity Lance for um, for when I felt like I needed it more, but I probably need it here because I'm outnumbered uh, considerably. So we'll see if we can't lure a few off. Uh to thin their ranks before we engage the entire group. Yeah, they're being baited into into some pre-fighting. Yeah, actually, I might not be needing the lance if uh, my weapons are firing off the way they're going. As long as Hot Vink can get at it. Oh god, he is a peg leg, so he's not very good at getting out of anywhere. Having you keep running. Let's fall back. If I had a, uh, if I had um, shield belts, this would be a lot easier because I'd be able to absorb some shots. Ooh, beer! I like me some beer. And scheduling everyone inside so no one wanders away. Um, all right, Lacrosse, you're still in, uh, uh-oh. Yeah, I did prop that door open. Let's go fix that. So no luck, and Lolin, get ready. They have clubs and spears. I think, actually, Hot Thing will be able to handle them. So I'm just going to keep trying to lure them away and thin their crowd out. There we go. It's not that elegant. Oh, they're all coming inside. All right. Let's pile in with our shooters then. Oh, they're fleeing. Okay. No lance needed. That wasn't so bad. No luck, lost a toe, and that's the only permanent injury that I see. Darkanova, thank you for the uh, the sub. 
Welcome. All right, they'll they'll break a wooden door. It's not a big deal. Poor Hot Thing, though. He's gotten beat up pretty bad. All right, now ten, no luck. And lacrosse is up and walking around. So uh, that means we could do a conversion ritual for you in twenty-four hours. Which I will probably trigger. It also means that I need some sort of prison. And I can temporarily use the research room as a prison. Um, but right now that prisoner has access to like a lot of weapons and stuff. So that's not great. It's not even good. It's pretty terrible. So I'm going to move the bed over to the crafting room. Which is a little bit less encouraging of me getting murdered. So. Funny. Let's move her. There. That should be a little bit better. All right. A little tending. And we're back in business. That was your favorite toe? Uh, we'll have to give you a prosthetic. At some point. Hey, you could be like Hot Bing and just have no leg. Your right second toe. I'm going super long today? No, this is just the RimWorld Miniseries Marathon tumbling that I do once a month. So it was scheduled. She's here. She's... she's... not in chat though. So I've closed my doors, and let's allow everything. Uh, there is some corpses that I ought to probably haul out. I really need a method to deal with corpses, though, I think, because um, that is causing uh, a sizable mood penalty for me and will become increasingly worse as time goes on with all these tribals trying to mess with me. Sterile materials is now done. Let's get hospital beds. Um, I don't currently have the steel to make sterile materials in the hospital yet, but I will get it. And then, uh, let's see. We have a conversion ritual for lacrosse soon. That we could do. A pet Yoda? Hey, buddy. And Rakuni X Games, thanks for this resub. More monsters. So many monsters. More flutters. Hopefully the, the tribal raid settles down so that I can actually do some of these um, monster hunts. There's so many monster hunts being thrown my way, but I just don't have the capacity to hit hit them up at the moment. Because I'm just so busy. And Techie, thanks for the, uh, the gifted sub. Ooh, puppy treats? Here, I'll even give you a Yoda cam. So once that cooler gets built, we can move the prison in there for lacrosse. Hoping that lacrosse converts quickly. It doesn't look like it's too hard to do. Pretty close. Your dog is also named Yoda? Here's a really fun fact. Uh, my wife named Yoda Yoda before she had even seen any of the... Uh, Star Wars movies. She had literally not seen a Star Wars movie and named Yoda Yoda, which I, I think is just hilarious. And then I forced her to watch the Star Wars movies in episodic order, not chronological, which is to say, um, not fun. Because that would be episode one was first. You can see why that's, uh, a menace? <laughs> I'm not sorry. Yeah. I made her watch 
Episode one first. It's cruel, I know. Well, she didn't understand. She was like, oh, a heat wave. She was like, why do people like this garbage? Because obviously episode one was a horrible movie. Um, Pretty horrible compared to the uh, originals. So it really confused her as to why it was revered. I was like, ah, oh, it gets better, it gets better. Hey, Glitch and Lolan are engaged too. Whole bunch of married couples. Did she watch all of them? She watched until, she watched one through six, maybe seven. She was a good sport about it. A lot of relationship trust there. Yeah, no kidding. No kidding. So the current project is um, build a hospital. It's actually convert. And then go on a hunt. I need more. I need more shooters. I need more people capable of um, defending the colony before I go hunting. Because the problem is while I'm hunting, there's a very high likelihood that I get attacked. And if I don't have anyone home to help defend... Um, Colony collapse. So, try to avoid colony collapse. Oh, converted. Already? Yeah, yep. Yeah, all right. Uh, release. This actually makes me realize uh, I need more bedrooms. Because now that I have lacrosse joining, I am out a bedroom. And I might as well just jump the gun and make a bedroom for... Guero when Guero is unparalyzed. So here she is. Uh, she's also a good shooter, so it wouldn't be a terrible idea to get another assault rifle. She's a night owl, so I'm going to need to put her on a night owl schedule. 11 to 18. Otherwise, she gets a little moody. But hey, that works out. All of my other recruiting is on cooldown. Another thing is the bedrooms down here are like super hot, so it wouldn't be a terrible idea for me to um, air condition them at some point too. I don't really need air conditioning right now because everybody is um, everybody has clothing that protects them from the heat. But it would be wise for the future to have a decent amount of air conditioning. I'm also going to set up a shirt and pants uh, queue. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. To make sure that we satisfy the clothing requirements that we have. So I'm going to make until I have two spare shirts and two spare pants. That are... Um, that are almost fully intact, 95 plus, and made of leathers. Pretty much all leathers are going to be really superior. Because I just there's just a bunch of dinosaurs. Um, hmm. I'm in a heat wave, which kind of sucks. That also means that all the animals on the map tile are going to go bye-bye. So before they leave, let me get hunting because I'm very low on dino meat. Oh, are they all gone already? Oh man, they're all like, they all booked. There's just these parasaurs. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get to those parasaurs in time. Hurry! Get it! Any others? Nope, and nope, okay. Well, the only hunting that I was able to do, I got done. So at least there's that. Stupid heat waves. Stupid, stupid heat waves. And more creatures to hunt. Another chort. Chorts are very hard to kill. I'm probably going to go for the easy ones initially, and then I'll work my way up. But I'm not going to jump to the hardest um, on my first hunt, because I'm not suicidal. Across, I also need to give you priorities. There. Mostly, mostly just uh, hauling clean. Looks like where I was converting pretty quick too. I did turn my chat into a Star Wars chat. That would be my fault.
I wish that these fires were just... Yeah, it's too late. But I wish they started here. Got rid of some of the corpses for me. So here's Lacrosse's rifle. And then no luck will work on the... Clothing. We should be good. Also, I think Hotving needs a shirt too. Force of Will. Thanks for the sub. And President Flame and... Uh, Lizaresi. Thank you for the follows. Possible beds are done. And I need a multi-analyzer. Ooh, swallowed an ice cube. I need a multi-analyzer for the, um... Uh, for... The vitals monitor. So let me go make that. I bought the plasteel and gold for it specifically. So I definitely want to get that ASAP. Another thing that might be wise is for me to not allow great recurve short bows or pillows into the stockpile because I just don't care about the tribal weapons. And then let's do club, spear, uh, knife, and then the smelt weapons, the axe, club, ikla, knife, Spears, I'm just going to melt down. So I'm not going to allow axes in here either. Or Iqua. Ooh, that's a nice shirt. Tyrannosaurus leather. Sharp 54%. Not bad. I do need a research project. While I wait, I'm going to get prosthetics. Just because, you know, that's related to hospitals. Sort of. Alright, I know I'm a little overdue on the hunt. But I'm working on it. I feel like Josmo, Glitch, and Bunny are kind of ready to go. Combat command's almost off cooldown. So let me figure out where I'm going to head. I probably don't want to take a chord on. Maybe a Wavern, but Waverns are also pretty scary. So probably just this little... Um, this little... Ogrid uh, neck hunt here. Which is, unfortunately, very... It's uh, four and a half days travel. But that's the best I can do. Before I leave, I want to put some doors on the base. And then we do have some barricades over there, which should be helpful. The terrain looks awesome on this map? I know. The uh, Kamigo uh, trees look very cool. Definitely agree with that. Right. No more slate blocks. We're good. So here is the multi-analyzer, and that's going to allow us to get fabrication, which I think should probably be next, because otherwise we stand to burn through all of our components and not be able to replenish them, which would be bad. Tomorrow morning, I go on the hunt. Once the bedrooms are built, which is any second now. Just chopping down some stubborn trees that are in the way. Imagine trying to sleep in 127 degree heat. Oh, man. That sounds horrible. Oh, there's dinosaurs that are back. Heat wave must be subsiding, or it's just really honestly one Bronto. I take it back. Got all excited about a single one.
All right. Across, there's your bedroom. And then Goro is going to have a bedroom once he's up. 19 more days at maximum. Ronnie, thanks for gifting out a sub to the community. Cheers. I'm hoping that, uh... Well, I could always eat my Packer Survival Meals, because they're made of meat. And therefore, they're going to satisfy our, our demand for meat. But I am hoping that, um... The heat wave subsides so I can start hunting dinosaurs again, because we're just about out of... Out of dino meat. So then, this becomes sterile tile. And... The research bench, I'm just going to make a new one over here. And then once I have the new research bench, I'll move the the multi-analyzer over. And now that the farm's been replanted, Hot Ving is getting the wood for us that we've demanded. Oh, another one. Oh, no, this is a decay of one. So I did say that I would leave in the morning, so Josmo, Glitch, and Bunny are going to go, for better or for worse. Oh no, it timed out. Oh, that's not good. I have to figure out where I'm headed now, then. So this is for... Maybe I'll go to the Flatters. That seems reasonable. So one... All right. Godspeed. So that was Josmo, Glitch, Bunny. The best fighters are headed out. Lacrosse is going to stay behind because uh, she's a good shooter and she can help protect the colony now. And then once I think everybody's home, the rituals to recruit more people, eh, they still have about a day left. I take that back. And Lolan just got malaria. Well, uh, I don't have a hospital yet, but I'm getting one. Well, that's gonna be nice. Once No Luck has a little bit more time on his hands to do the construction. Never mind! No Luck just got the plague! Uh, yeah. That's good. Now I'm down to one doctor, Lacrosse, and she's like, got to hold down the fort with guns and doctoring. So this is bad news. My luck is so bad right now. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Plus glitch, being able to preach health just left the map tile, so it's really, really annoying. Half my colony is sick. And then we have Psychopath Hot Thing up here just going, Ah, I'm gonna cut down some trees! Mm, let's have them stop that. Bro, if there was ever a time for you to, like, miraculously recover from your paralysis, that time would be right now, buddy. Technically, it's possible. Um, Paralytic Abasia, you have a, like, 1% chance to recover every day. Just... magically. But so far, not looking so good. But hey, we attended a, a wedding, so people are happy. Well, maybe not no luck. Other people are happy. Often goes, the trees are probably responsible for the malaria plague. Yeah, or the shade they provide. I can agree with that. We're, you're killing off the trees that are uh, part of the jungle. What are you doing, though? You're hauling steel from miles away. So Glitch, Josmo Bunny are none the wiser. 
They have no idea what's going on back home. Back home is just a plague fest. If I could call in backup, I would. Yeah, at least plague's quick. It's true. Plague's quick, and malaria doesn't take too, too long. Sleeping sickness and then the mechanites, which are disabled anyway, are the ones that just take forever. Those I particular uh, sleep sleeping sickness and the the fibrous and sensory and and muscle parasites and stuff like that are really gut worms. That's the stuff that lasts forever. Yeah, I don't want to fight a chort. I ain't ready for that. If only I could get horses. Maybe on my way home, the uh. Oh, uh, 24 days. Never mind. I need them to restock their. what they have available to buy so I can get some horses. That'd be nice. The good news is, the heat wave is over, so the dinos are coming back. The bad news is, I have so few people in the colony right now that if a dino tried to eat me, I'd have almost no backup. Hot thing's very slow with his peg leg, so just be lacrosse fighting it. So I'm really hoping that doesn't happen. Oh, you're so cute. Little protoceratops. So, the Diplos and Dakota Raptors are most likely to come after me. And at this point, uh, Lacrosse, carry meds on you. I think I'm going to need it. Josmo got an inspired trade. That's cool. We're actually pretty close to Ruidosa, so maybe I actually go to Ruidosa and see if they have horses. I don't really have any trade goods on them, but like, at least I know they'll have horses and then I can return back with silver or trade goods to buy them in the future. Now I don't, I'm not so comfortable attacking fletters at night, so I'm going to go into a rest pattern here. Fletters are like vampiric animals, and I, uh, yeah, fighting them at night sounds like a bad time. I ain't a, I, I'm not Geralt, so I need advantages. Nitro, thanks for the bits. And Nep, welcome to your first stream. Love from no Norway? Well, cheers. I'll, I'll take love from Norway. Well, at least um, No Luck here had a very short uh, mental break. Because if it was a longer mental break, I'd have to arrest them. Because a long mental break would put him at risk of succumbing to his plague. Although, he's already 81% uh, recovered, so it is going really, really quick. He's actually doing a pretty good job smashing through the walls, too. Which is kind of frightening. What can go wrong, will go wrong. Alright, this is uh, this is driving me crazy. Don't uninstall the floor one at a time. Just do it in batch. So, it's almost daylight out. Light levels are... Okay, light levels are good. Let's go attack. First, encounter. Thank you for tuning in to Hunter's Gambit, which originally streamed live on Twitch, April 16th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below, but please keep in mind that the series has since ended, so I can't make any changes. If you would like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule, countdown timers to upcoming streams, 
and links to Discord and Twitch. If you would like to take part in suggesting scenarios for me, all of my Patreon patrons and Twitch subscribers are welcome to propose ideas once a month. Thank you so very much for watching. A special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that support the channel. I'll catch you next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell, fellow dino hunters. <laughs>